Welcome to the Greedy Geese Kitchen. My name is Ben Palmer. I'm chef owner here. Um, and I'm going to cook a wonderful recipe. So what we're going to be cooking today is uh, Megrim Sol, uh, part of the Sol family. Um, it has bags of flavour. I, I consider it to be a, a very kind of tasty fish, which is uh, unused. So I do kind of urge you to go to your local fishmongers and um, ask for a Megrim, whole Megrim Sol. And cooking it whole um, is a different kind of cooking technique, but um, cooking it on the bone retains a lot of moisture and a lot of flavour. So we're going to cook it very simply, okay? So we've got a whole Megrim Sol, which we've just kind of trimmed up along the sides here. We've taken the uh, a tail off, just obviously, just for kind of ease of eating, really. We're going to keep the skin on as well, because it's a lovely fish to eat with the skin on. And all we're going to do is we're going to make a simple kind of marinade dressing to go over the fish. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with some fresh ginger, okay? So we're going to slice the ginger nice and thin. So what that does is obviously it helps the ginger to cook nice and quickly while it's on the fish. So we're just going to kind of go for some nice kind of fine, fine almost like matchsticks, okay? So we're going to slice it nice and fine. Okay, and when you're doing this, obviously, you know, one of the one of the chef's tricks is obviously make sure always that your knives are always sharp. Obviously, it makes a bit, you know, more of an easier job. So we're going to go in here with, with our fresh matchsticks ginger, okay? Then we're going to add a little bit of garlic, okay? So again, we're going to finely slice the garlic up also, and then we're going to add that to the ginger. So what we're doing here is we're just kind of making a nice dressing marinade, which is going to go over the fish, and then obviously the fish is going to go in the oven. So very simple and very tasty. To the ginger and the garlic, we're going to add a bit of lime zest and a bit of lime juice. So we're just going to zest the lime lightly. You don't have to do too much, as I say, because we are using the juice as well. So a bit of lime zest goes in there, like so. And then obviously a bit of lime juice. So maybe just half the lime, I think, we're going to use for this one. So half the lime goes in there. As I say, this is a really easy recipe because it's going to go straight in the oven. And obviously that's all we're going to do. We're going to leave it until it's just cooked through. So. Lime zest, lime juice, garlic and ginger. Now we're going to add some oil. We're just kind of going to bring it all together. So a nice, a nice good glug of oil. A little bit of soy sauce. Obviously when you're using soy sauce, be careful not to add too much salt because soy is very salty. So we're just going to watch the whole salt content in the dish. So we're going to add a little touch of soy sauce to this. Just a tiny bit more. And then we're going to finish it with a nice bit of coriander. And I say this is going to go all over the fish, straight into the oven. Don't worry about being too kind of you know, neat and tidy and fine because, you know, we are cooking the fish whole, so it is going to be a nice kind of rustic dish. So just kind of roughly chop it up, really. It doesn't have to be too fine. Also, the finer you kind of chop the like things like basil and coriander, the more you bruise the herb, so you don't want to necessarily bruise it too much. So there we have. So you've got garlic, ginger, soy, lime juice, olive oil, and some coriander. And now we're going to go to the fish, okay? So the fish, the whole Megrim Sol, before we kind of put it in the oven, what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of score the skin. So we're just going to score the skin very lightly, okay? And that's going to enable to help the flavour of the dressing and the sauce kind of penetrate into the fish to give it that fantastic flavour. So we're just going to lightly score the fish on top. Okay, like so. And all we're going to do is back onto the tray and then the lovely kind of marinade, we're just gonna kind of spoon over the fish. As I say, it's a very, very, very kind of simple recipe. And this fish in a hot oven, say about 180 degrees fan, is gonna go straight into the oven. Two or three minutes later, we're gonna have absolute kind of fish heaven. Straight in there like that, guys. Right, so the fish has been in the uh, oven for three to four minutes now on 180. So we'll just give it a quick check and hopefully it should be done. Yep, that's perfect. So as you can see, the fish has just cooked through. The nice kind of sauce marinade is penetrated into the fish, which gives it a fantastic flavor. And we're just kind of ready to dish that up. To go with the fish, I've just got some, um, some kind of samphire, which kind of complements it very well. Some people call it sea asparagus. It's like a nice kind of crunchy, um, crunchy kind of salty accompaniment that goes lovely with the with the fresh fish itself. So now we're kind of ready to dish up. So the beauty of cooking the fish on the bone, as I say, kind of retains the moisture, gives it lots more flavour. And to kind of plate up, it's as easy as can be. There we go, straight onto a nice big plate. 
any kind of residual juices that we have left on the tray can kind of be poured over the fish, so don't waste those. And then finally, just to top up with some nice kind of fresh samphire. Let's go with the fish, and there we have it. Whole baked megrim sole with soy, ginger, garlic, and coriander.